Hey, it's Benny. I got home from the Netherlands about a month ago, and I miss it to some degree. I mean, there are some things I don't have to miss. For instance, Carmen, Jasmine, and I all coincidentally got partnered up for a term-long group project for LIS 550 this term, so I don't have to miss them at all because I'm communicating with them almost every day at this point. It's nice being back. I missed having a fridge and a stove and a microwave and a cat and all that fun stuff. Hi kitty, did you miss me? I love you. Things have been a little bit different since I got back. This seems to be a regular thing for whenever I go abroad. It's, it's just always something that changes right when I get back. The weird thing is it's kind of nice having that change happen when I get back because I'm already in kind of a mind state where I'm trying to readjust to things back home anyways so if there are changes that are being made it's easier to have them being made when I'm already trying to readjust I guess. Maybe a weird way to explain it but if you have to change something and you're already in the middle of making a bunch of changes it seems to be a lot easier to make that change than if you're kind of stagnant and you're just used to things how they are. So the largest new change is I have a third job now which is pretty cool. Um, I've reduced my hours at my first two jobs so that I can TA for LS 570 uh, this term and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work but I'm enjoying it so far and I'm really happy that I get to do it. Otherwise I've been doing more volunteering since I got home and it's almost November, which means it's almost time for NaNoWriMo, which means that I'll be busy pretty much all of next month. I'm one of the municipal liaisons for the Lane County NaNoWriMo group, which means that I'm basically one of the two people in charge of making sure the region has everything all put together and all our events are in shape. And it also means that I get to drag Thaddeus around with me everywhere for a month because he's our region mascot. So. You see me anytime during November, I'm probably dragging around a little Pteranodon with me, and he's adorable and fun to carry around. The only thing is Coco likes trying to chew on his eyeballs, so I have to keep him away from her as much as possible. Every time I seem to take a trip of around a week or longer, I tend to come back home feeling a lot more adventurous than I did when I left. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but something about traveling just makes me feel like I should do more when I get home like I should explore the things around me more than I get a chance to in my day-to-day -day life because they're kind of there's something about just living in a place where you kind of take it for granted and you don't really get out and explore much past your comfort zone and after traveling is usually the time when I actually take the opportunities to try to do that and that's always a good feeling for me because it lets me get to know my own surroundings kind of within the context of what's going what's going on in the wider world. I've also been taking more time to reflect on where I want to go from here, I suppose, uh, what I want to do with my future. still don't know exactly where I'm going after I finish my degree, but I feel like I have more tools now after going on this trip to kind of put myself out there no matter where I end up than before I left. So I guess this kind of closes this chapter on the blog, and I'm planning on leaving it up. I'm going to hopefully use it for when I travel to other places in the future, because why not? It's a travel blog. I'm obviously going to travel elsewhere in the future, so I might as well use it. That's a good way for me to reflect on myself and my travels and what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for going on this journey with me, and I will see you for the next one. Later.